welcome to our Burwood Heights online worship. This weekend will be observed in different ways for people in society and in congregations. For some it means a holiday and celebrations. Others find it reminds them of a sad time in their lives when a family member or friend made the ultimate sacrifice for country, family and friends. We choose to remember, give honour and thanks as we are touched by a holy presence in worship. We are privileged to share a message of love, hope and peace just where you are, regardless of the time and place. The theme for today is the Easter spirit of Anzac. All of God's people belong to Jesus, the one who completely and knowingly gave up everything for them. Let us bless each other in the words of the peace. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with the congregation, we join in singing hymn 154, Great is your faithfulness, O God my Father.
we join in our prayers of adoration, thanksgiving, and confession. Eternal and ever-present God, we gather with calm in our hearts, gratitude on our lips, optimism for the future of our world as we pause to remember those who have served in arenas of warfare. God of the crucified Jesus, you alone fully understand the feelings of those still living among us who have returned home from war, leaving comrades lost at sea or buried in foreign soil. In light perpetual, may they rest and rise up in peace. May we respect their painful memories, be inspired by their courage, and be ever ready to work beside all who continue to keep the dream alive of peace on earth, goodwill among all people. Holy, risen Lord Jesus, teach us to fear you without being afraid, to love you without being pretentious, to serve you with style and tenacity without becoming heavy laden or servile, and to adore you holding nothing back through the sure confidence and good health you give. Forgive our human frailties that cause us to be tossed hither and thither by the winds and selfish wishes of our lives. Become for us an island that anchors each one, providing renewed strength and spirit of hope to live justly with our neighbours. Today, as always, your transforming grace and generous heart watches over us with the safety of your love. Forgiveness is your wonder and gift. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp to our feet, a light to our path. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of St John, chapter 10, verses 11 to 18, and this is Jesus speaking. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. In this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's a privilege to join you on this Anzac Day in worship. 
our theme for today, the spirit of Anzac. What do the spirit of Easter and the spirit of Anzac have in common? Anzac was originally a useful acronym for Australian and New Zealand Army Corps and has been part of Australian and New Zealand language and life since the 25th of April, 1915. Since then, Anzac became a word with many uses and meanings. It's been applied to military formations like two Anzac Corps in both world wars. It's been applied to places, notably Anzac area of Gallipoli and Anzac Cove itself. It's applied to people where Anzac at first meant a man who had served on Gallipoli and later on acquired broader applications. The word Anzac in Australia has been governed by federal legislation since 1921. Some aspects of Anzac have been criticized, but there is general consensus on what's regarded as the Anzac spirit, which came to stand for the positive qualities which Australians have seen their forces show in war. And these qualities are generally accepted to include endurance, courage, ingenuity, comradeship, patriotism. Charles Bean, in describing the evacuation of the Anzac Cove area, wrote, and I quote, Anzac stood and still stands for reckless valor in a good cause, for enterprise, resourcefulness, fidelity, comradeship, and endurance that will never own defeat. End of quote. What a spirit. More recently, Arthur Burke, OAM, pointed out that the spirit of Anzac is not confined to the battlefield, nor is it something that can be seen. He described the spirit of Anzac as a powerful driving sensation that can only be felt. It's a feeling that burns in the heart of every Australian and New Zealand countrymen, a warm, tender, fiery, even melancholy ideal that nurtures the innermost soul of everybody. That's the spirit of Anzac that is still seen today in times of crisis or hardships. In times of cyclones, of floods, of bushfires, of accidents, when you don't even stop to think or blink whether to help or not, communities just come together to help and look after one another, letting the victims of these disasters know, not with words, but with deeds, they are not alone. That's faithfulness to nurturing a spirit of hope. Is that any different to the spirit of Easter that we remember and celebrate? The spirit of Easter is all about hope that enables a positive attitude, expression of appreciation, a time of renewal, and holds affection for others. At the heart of it is fearless love with a spirit of service. We hear the words of Jesus in scripture saying, I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for the sheep. With these words, we are reminded of what fearless love 
might look like. Willing to lay down one's life for the protection and enhancement of others. It's not like a duty or a paid job. It is faithfulness to our vocation of being human. Total devotion to service, bringing a spirit of hope for all people. On this Anzac Day, we remember those who have died, all the battles fought on battlefields and otherwise. Remember, it was freedom the soldiers brought. We hear the spirit of hope in this soldier's voice saying, when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. The spirit of Easter and the spirit of Anzac, lest we forget. Amen. Filled with the spirit of inspiration, of generosity, we come and dedicate our offerings. Creator God, in your image we are made and your personal signature is written on the very heart of our being. We bring our gifts and offer together with our lives to be of service, nurturing the spirit of hope in the world. May our hearts and minds, our work, our relationships with other people, our friendships, our family life, our faith and plans continue to create the climate of love and compassion, of understanding and affirmation for all people in all places, at all times. Amen. And we join in our prayers for others and ourselves. Eternal wonder, God of never-ending grace, as we gather in this atmosphere of sacred sanctuary, embraced in a sense of peace, hope and love, we remember those for whom the annual remembrance of Anzac Day is a time of painful memory and distress as they recall loved ones who did not return and those who did return but live with permanent mental or physical impairment. May this day remind us of the importance for goodwill, peace and harmony to be at the forefront of relations between nations of our world. We pause to give thanks for peace while remembering the horrific human cost needed to reclaim the right of peace for all people in every age. We pause and remember. Help us in our time to see good things in the world and elevate them, to recognize evil behavior and take action to lessen it, to be an active part of caring causes and to live our lives so all can see the effectiveness of generosity, care and encouragement. It is only with our hearts that we can see what is essential even when it is invisible to our eyes. Tenderly care for our world with its ongoing struggles with COVID-19. 
Help us not to become complacent or indifferent as life gradually resumes a safer normal in Australia. We pray for people known to us who are ill, facing or recovering from surgery, and those whose pain is the loss of a loved one. Be their strength and hope. Continue to honour and bless those whose life and work is in selfless public service, making a difference with touch, attention to detail, helpful words and transforming presence. Embrace us in our uncertainties and give us peace of mind as we join in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us sing hymn 315. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. And for the blessing, may the love of God enfold you, the wisdom of Christ enlighten you, and the fire of the Spirit inflame you. 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.